Okay. Welcome to this is El Maestro. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For today, we're going to discuss multiplying, dividing rational algebraic expression. Okay, so if you're ready, I'll give you time to get your pen, notes, okay, before we proceed. So, wala nang marami intro intro, let's do this. Okay, multiplying or dividing rational algebraic expression. So first we'll tackle multiplying algebraic expression. Okay? So these are the rules na kailangan nating itatandaan. Okay? So when we are working on multiplying um, algebraic rational algebraic expression. So first rule sabi dito, we have to multiply the numerators. Meaning multiply the numerators. Okay? So so that if we multiply the numerator, magkakaroon tayo ng a times c. So, yung numerator ng isa, i-multiply natin sa numerator ng isa. So, we'll have a times c. The same thing, sabi sa rule number 2, we have to multiply the denominators. Okay? So, that's why we have d times d. So, yun yung pinaka uh, first two steps na gagawin natin. Okay? So, multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Okay? So, after that, babalik na naman tayo sa previous lesson. You can check that out sa my YouTube channel. Meron tayong separate, separate video sa pag-factor ng terms. Okay? Very important. We have to factor numerator. We have also to factor denominator. Okay? So, if nakalimutan na natin, you can check that out in my YouTube channel. Meron tayong separate video on how to factor out um, algebraic expressions. Okay? Different kind of factoring. Meron tayo niyan. Then last is we have to simplify to its lowest term. Again, simplifying rational algebraic expression. We have a separate video with that again in this channel. So you can check it out. Okay? Kung nakalimutan nyo. Pero pag master na tayo, walang problema. You continue doing. Um, let's proceed with that. I mean. Okay. So, first example. Gagawin natin is we have 2t over 5 times... This dot here class signifies multiplication. Sometimes, um, um, close and open parenthesis ginagamit. Okay? So, don't get confused. Okay? So, times 15 over t squared. So, anong gagawin natin? Multiply numerator to numerator. So, we have 2t times 15. Right? Then, num denominator to denominator. So, we have 5t times 8t squared. Okay? So, yun yung pinakauna natin. Multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, let's multiply. So, 2 times 15, that is equal to, so 2 times 15, that is equal to 30t. And 5 times 8, that is equal to 40t squared. So, continue tayo sa next step. Sabi sa next step, factor out numerator and denominator. Numerator and denominator. Again, as much as possible, class, ang gagawin natin is, hahanap tayo ng factor na merong kapareho yung numerator at denominator para mas madali sa atin. Okay? So, as as you continue doing this, masasanay at masasanay kayo. Okay? So, I, I advise na maghanap kayo ng different kind of problems and you, uh, you, you keep on answering and solving un until such na maging, mas maging sanay na kayo sa pag-factor out ng terms. Okay? So, factor out 30. That is 10 times 3 times t. So that is 30t. How about 40t squared? Factor out. That is 10 times 4 times t times t. So na factored out na natin ngayon. So the next thing that we're going to do is we have to cancel out those um, pwede nating i-cancel or i-eliminate. So that is 10 divided by 10 and also t and t. Meron pa ba? So in this case, wala na. So therefore... 2t over 5 times 15t over 80 squared, that is equal to, anong, mati, anong natira sa numerator? 3. Anong natira sa denominator? 4t. So, our answer is 3 over 4t. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple class. And take note, um, later on sa ating division, magagamit natin yung rule na to. So, kailangan, um, we must be very familiar with this. Kasi, we will be using the same, uh, I mean, gagamitin natin yung rule ng multiplication later on. But anyway, um, let's have another example. 
So, 3x over x squared plus 2x times 4x is, ah no, 3x over x squared plus 2 times 4x over 2. Okay? Sabi, una is we have to multiply numerator to numerator. So, that is 3x times 4x. Then, denominator to denomino do denominator is 2 times x squared plus 2x. Okay? So, sir, bakit na una yung 2? Walang problema yan. Okay? So, depende na sa pag -arrange. As much as possible, alam nyo itong mga rules na to. Okay? Then, let's multiply. 3x times 4x. That is 12x squared. How about the denominator? So, we will use distributive property. Meaning, 2 times x squared and 2 times 2x. So, we will have 2x squared plus 4x. Okay? So, again, multiplication of algebra expression, meron din tayong separate video niyan. Okay? So, you search mo yung sa YouTube channel natin. Then, next is we have factor out both numerator and denominator. Factor out natin. So, factor out 12. So, that is 2x times 6x. Again, pwedeng separate yan class. Pwede nyo gawin 2 times x, ah, 2 times 6 times x times x. Okay? Pwede, ganun. Pwede rin 2x times 6x. So, depende na yan sa inyo. Okay? Multiplication lang naman yan. Then, factor out. Ano yung gagamitin nating factoring dito, di ba? G, greatest common factor. Okay? So, ano yung greatest common factor nila? That is 2x. Okay? So, 2x. Kasi pag minultiply mo yan ulit, ibabalik mo by um, division distribution method, okay, or gagawin natin is 2x times x, babalik yan sa 2x squared. Okay, dito, 2x squared. Pag minultiply mo yung 2x sa 2, babalik yan sa 4x. Okay? So, this time, makakancel out natin yung 2x. So, therefore, that is equal to, ano yung matitira? 6x over x plus 2. So, nakita nyo, class, ang very crucial here, class, is yung knowledge nyo on how to factor algebraic expression. And also, yung knowledge nyo on simplifying algebraic expression. Okay? So, you, re you review with that lesson if nakalimutan nyo na. Okay? So, this is the answer. 6x over x plus 2. So, we'll have division. So, in division class, first is we have to copy the dividend. Okay? Saan yung dividend? Yung ito. This term is the dividend. Okay? So, first thing that we're going to do is i-copy lang daw natin. So, meaning, let's just copy that one. Okay? So, nakita nyo, A over B divided by C over D is equal to, una, copy lang muna natin yan. Just copy. Then, sa next, sabi, get the reciprocal of the divisor. Ano yung reciprocal? Meaning, this is the divisor. Okay? Ipapalit natin ang position yan. Yung C from numerator, ibababa natin. And D, iaakyat natin. So, meaning, yung C, this one, ibababa natin yung C at yung D, ililipat naman natin sa taas. That's how, uh, that's, that's reciprocal. Okay? That's how we do when we, we reciprocal a term. Okay? So, ipapalit natin. Kung nakita nyo, dito, baliktad na. D over C na siya. Okay? So, tapos na. So, first, copy. Then, i-reciprocal -re natin yung denominator. Ipapalit natin ang position. Okay? Next is, proceed to multiplication. Napansin nyo, from here, tingnan nyo, divide yung operation natin. Pero, after, ginawa na natin multiplication. Kaya, sabi ko kanina, dapat alam natin yung yung multiplication o paano mag-multiply ng rational expression. Yung knowledge dapat importante yon Okay? Kasi from division, after nating makapi at ma-reciprocal yung, um, yung divisor, gagawin natin ngayon yung multiplication. So, tingnan nyo. Nagiging, okay? Ito yung, ano, ito yung division na review lang. Ito yung rule kanina sa pag, um, I mean, pag-multiply. This is the rule kanina sa pag-multiply. Okay? So, this time, after natin, after natin ma-multiply si, uh, si A times D at si B times C, proceed tayo sa simplifying. Yung if a factor out natin, then eliminate yung pwedeng ma-eliminate, then after that one, simplify form na yun. Okay? So, meaning, rules of multiplication na yung gagamitin natin after natin magawa yung 
two rules or yung two steps, first two steps ng division. Okay? So, let's have an example. Okay? <laughs> Number one. So, tingnan lang natin tong rules okay, dito para mas ma-check nyo. Uh, medyo malit lang yan. So, that is 7B divided by or 7B over 5 divided by 21B cubed over 10. Again, first rule. Ano yung sasabi sa first rule? If, makita, if ma-remember nyo, first copy the dividend. Okay, so copy. Simply, just copy this one. This dividend, copy. Then, sabi, reciprocal nyo yung divisor. Reciprocal natin. So, meaning yung 10, aakyat, itong nasa taas, ibababa natin. Okay? So, magiging 10 over 21B cube na. Then, from divide, okay, from divide, nagiging ano na? From division, naging multiplication na. Okay, ganun lang class. Then, apply the rule of multiplication. So, 7B times 10, direct yun natin, 7B times 10, that is 70B. Dito, 5 times 21, that is 105B cube. So, next, anong gagawin? Factor out. New, both numerator and denominator. Ito na yung rules ng multiplication na diniscuss natin earlier. Okay? So, if nakalimutan, iba, ibalik nyo lang yung video para ma-review naman kayo. So, factor ng 70 at 105 na magkapareho. So, we have 35 times 2 times B and we have 35B times 3B times B. So, pwede, lang, pwede din gawin natin class. Kung medyo hindi pa kayo mastered with this, gawin nyo 35 times 3 times B times B times B. Pwede ganon. So, in this case, uh, pinagdikit ko na lang sila. Okay? So, ano yung makakancel? Cancel yung 35 and cancel yung B. So, therefore, ang matira is, sa numerator, ano yung matira sa numerator? 2. Sa denominator is 3B times B. So, that is 3B squared. So, this is now the simplified form. Okay? So, another example. Okay, so we have 4x squared over 3y cubed divided by 16x cubed 21y cubed. So that is equal to copy. Again, first rule, copy the numerator. Okay, or the uh, dividend. I-copy natin to, this one. Then, sabi sa second rule, take the reciprocal sa divisor. Ipapalit natin, then... After which, lagay natin dyan. So, from from 16x cubed, okay, over 21y cubed, na reciprocal natin, baliktad na. Then, from division, gagawin natin ngayon, multiplication. Then, let's apply the rule of multiplication, multiply. 4 times 21, that is 84x squared y cubed, copy. Kasi hindi naman natin pwedeng i-multiply yan. Then, we have 3 times 16, that is 48 x cube y cube okay baka ma-confuse kayo sir bakit nauna nauna dito yung y dito inarrange ko le inarrange ko lang yan alphabetically okay so you can have it y cube mauna no it's up to you so factor out factor ng 84 that is 7 times 12 times x times x in this case pinakita ko isa-isa ha para hindi kayo ma-confuse isa-isa ko ginawa Pina factor out ko talaga isa-isa separate ko Okay? And sa baba, we have 4 times 12 times x times x times y, y, y. Kasi meron tayong um, y cube, uh, x cube, tatlong x, meron tayong y cube, tatlong y. Okay. So, ano yung makakancel natin? 12. Isang x, isa pang x, then we have y, another y, another y. Or, pag medyo magaling talaga kayo, class, gagawin nyo, i-cancel out nyo yung y cube, kasi y cube, y cube yan, di ba? cancel out na yan. Dito, x squared, x cubed. So, minong, merong, merong dalawang x squared dito na ikakancel natin. Since dalawang x lang ikakancel natin, dapat dalawa lang din dito. So, merong matitirang isang x. Ganun lang yon. Kung ayaw yung ganito kahaba. Pero pag hindi pa kayo master, you can do it this way. Okay? Para mas hindi talaga tayo magkakamali. Then, continue, that is equal to, anong natira sa taas? Sa numerator. That is 7 
Meron ba? Okay, 7 na lang. Okay, so how about here? 4x. 4x. So the answer is 7 over 4x. So ganyan mag-divide ng algebraic or rational algebraic expression. Again, yung knowledge natin, uh, let me remind you again and again, yung knowledge natin sa factoring and yung knowledge natin sa simplifying algebraic expression. Okay? So, that's all for today. Again, guys, thank you for watching and still hoping that you learned something from it. Okay? If you have questions, clarification, just comment it down below so that we can answer. If merong clarification, i-correct natin, just comment it down below. Okay? Para ma-address natin yung mga gusto. If you have something, topic na gusto nyo i-discuss natin, um, just Again, comment it down below. Gagawa natin yan ng video okay, for you. Okay? Once again, um, this is El Maestro. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.